Kim, you all love my woolly jumper, man. Yeah. Pardon? Yeah. Yes. Like at the back, see? Good, innit? Well, the young lady who knitted this, for all you people who said no, is going to come on, eh? And uh, she knitted this and much more together with her own fair hands, and she'll soon be globally recognised as a severe talent in her own right. Knitwear designer Ruth Heng, please. Thank you. <laughs> That was when you were supposed to whistle, pal, earlier. <laughs> you want to do it? Right, fine. Good thing. This woolly was knitted by you. Would you like to tell us how you go about doing these creations? Um, well, first of all, I meet people like you. It's a good start, right? You say... Um, You'd like to commission a jumper. Exactly, yeah. Now, the practi um, practicalities of it, I mean, how long does something like this take? How long does it take? Well, mm. how long does it last? <laughs> That was Wait, definitely the sixth joke. <laughs> it was maybe a little inaudible, but it was a gag. <laughs> I said, how long does it take? And Ruth said, are you asking how long it takes or how, how long it lasts? <laughs> <laughs> and I thought Phil Oakey was hard. <laughs> how long does it take you to knit these, Ruth? Um, well, half the time I'm asleep. Um, but when I'm not asleep, a few weeks. A few weeks. Yeah, and you design them, first of all, by doing them on a I piece of graph I design them from, yeah, from pictures that people right. give me or ideas they give me, and I work around them right. and design them onto graph paper. Now, mm. we, you did a, a sweater for me, which I wore in the swap shop, and oh, I think yeah. we've got Yes, you gave that one away. <laughs> You're not going to give this away. I'm not, I'm not giving this one away, I'm honest. Not. I'm going to keep this forever, or as long as it lasts. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but is it possible for us to have a look at the at the reproduction in the swap shop book? Here we are. Yeah. That's the graph paper. This is for the for in the swap shop annual. This is for kids to knit a home version of it themselves, which I have. <laughs> I just happen to have a copy of it here. Yeah. Um, now this is this is how it would turn out. <laughs> <laughs> this is serial stuff again, folks. And this is Noel Edmonds at the top. With his highlights. Well, yeah, with his highlights. Hold on, which camera? This one. Right. And on the front of it is me. I'm the one on the right. Got anybody not sure. <laughs> and the one on the left is my manager, I think. <laughs> Gnawing at my royalties. Um, so the kids, mums and dads or grannies all over the country could knit that from yeah. the pattern that you did That's in the book. Because right. you do it each square. Is one stitch. Is one stitch. And one colour. And if we're lucky, I think, we can have a look at the original of the swap shop, which oh, I did okay. give away, but in fact, I have got back. So can we have a look at that? Can we s start our little fashion show? <laughs> now, can you, uh, could you step forward, young lady? Who's this? Model? Uh, Ziggy. This is Ziggy, a telephone yeah. number not supplied. Yeah. <laughs> That's uh, all you have me on with, though, isn't it? To get all <laughs> the these telephones, yes. Yeah. Now, this is the original of the swappy one, and Noel Edmonds' highlights are particularly... Anti-Slazinger. Um. <laughs> Excuse me, you're not supposed to say Slazinger. Oh! <laughs> and that's me in the front again with my manager. Now, you, that, would, um, that would take longer than the kiddies one to do. Yeah, so that's done by machine. It's, it's done in a hand-loom me method. So everything's going in. Whistle so, again, lads, if you like. <laughs> right. Now, these are two examples of a similar kind of thing. Yeah, Can you tell us the, about that? These are fun party wear. Um, the idea I, I got was I was asked to do something for a garden party. And the weather's not always ideal for garden parties, so I thought, <laughs> rainy garden parties. <laughs> So the raindrops um, come out of the so, clouds on little... Yeah. <laughs> so, Give us a break, will you? I'm rude. <laughs> now, I know the rain comes out of the clouds normally. I was <laughs> illustrating on the jumper that comes out. <laughs> uh, you're just here to do the modelling, not a laugh at the gags, uh, girls. <laughs> and uh, one of them is called Ross, and the other one I can't remember. Christy. 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 Right. And the one, in the one on my right is a cashmere. That's right, yes. Yeah. That was commissioned by a friend of mine who's a model. She wears it as a mini dress, <laughs> would you <I> believe? <laughs> and by the sheer coincidence, she's now going to make an appearance. Is that yes, right? that's right. So these ladies can uh, <laughs> trip off. Little ripple, folks. <laughs> Um, 
this is a little this, boy. Yeah, this is commissioned by um, a publisher who wanted it for his girlfriend. It's sort of a sweetheart type thing. Oh. Um, <laughs> oh. And he's painting her. He's painting her. her um, Heart on the wall with his, their initials. Oh, it's it's really nice, that, isn't it? It's really sweet. Yeah, I wish somebody bought me a Christmas present like that. <laughs> well, you can't, of course, yeah. get one because you're too busy knitting. That's right, yeah, I'm good time. So, this, okay. um, I think you can leave us for a minute and we'll have, uh, yes, yes, by all means, yeah. Okay. Small ripple Bye. again. <laughs> so, this, um, this fine art of knitting was learned at which college? Kingston, I, um, but I'd been knitting in my life. I think I was about four years old when I started. And uh, was your mum a great knitter? Um, she's she was in the fashion business herself, and had to give it up because of the war, and so encouraged me all the time. These um, were inspired by Gauguin, who's my favourite painter. Could you just turn your jacket round? Can you just tell me to <laughs> direct the vision? <laughs> Uh, there was a, an exhibition of his work a couple of years ago in London, which was really bright and colourful. Now he's painting. Now how I do you how do you go with that? There's millions of little squares on these. That's right. I go cross-eyed. Fine. Don't that's fine. Yeah, sure. Going to sleep. <laughs> and uh, and these were part of a co an overall collection that will yes, go down. Yes, that's and things. right. Yes. The one on the left yes. is a mini dress, Asian ladies and gentlemen, dress. and the one on the right is a cardi. Right? I know that. And there's no and, and there's no rain in Haiti, so I don't have to worry about the rain clouds and the Gauguin paintings. Right, I think you can uh, depart for us, girls. Right. Before we see before we see any more, um well, we are Oh we are more. seeing more. Oh right, now this is another commission. This is uh Elvis Presley on the front. I don't mean the girls, they're obviously uh, <laughs> Right. Yeah, Tell this was uh, commissioned by um, Tim and Jane Rice, who are big Elvis fans. And, Tim's big uh, anyway. <laughs> yeah. He's also big Elvis. And when I started it, it was supposed to be um, young Elvis Presley. The pattern of the, on the graph paper was young Elvis Presley, and as I knitted it, he sort of grew older and more obese. <laughs> so it answers the question of how long it takes to knit them, Ruth. <laughs> yeah. That's right. <laughs> About 15 years, so you... Yeah, I was, I was rather younger when yeah, I knew So you are not be expected quite... to make a career of this. <laughs> I understand. That one was difficult, actually, to get the likeness. Um, once the pattern and the likeness were achieved, the knitting was difficult as well. Now in this so particular case, difficult. Jane just wanted it to be simple picture on the front, didn't want the... Yeah, she just wanted it to be as great a likeness as possible. And, uh, I hope I did it. Yeah, it yeah. looks great. Let's have a round of applause for that one. Yeah. Now, before we see any more, <laughs> um, can, how much do these woolies cost? <laughs> Sharp and take a breath. Um, I haven't paid for this one yet. Uh, <laughs> um, well, a lot of money. It will take a long time. Well, not a lot of money considering you should really treat them like oil paintings, like you would an original painting. Well, um, do you know, I'm notoriously good with my colours. I, I mean, I yeah. wrap I don't expect tissue. people to drop gravy down them or anything. Or so you can't Stick microphones them. through them or anything like that. <laughs> so, yeah. Microphone through jumper. Ruth, <laughs> make comment about microphone <laughs> through jumper. <laughs> Camera, can't take a shot it. of microphone through <laughs> jumper. People at home, they understand what Ruth and I speak of. <laughs> Heap good for trade. Um, and you're not going to tell us how much they cost. Um, Three figures, um, yeah. Yeah. Hundred, yeah. hundred pounds. From that much, yeah. Depending on how, well, some of them are, are cheaper, but they tend to be simpler. They do. Yes. Unfortunately, but, you, yes. you you would like to do what like to do this all the time if you had a chance to just. Um, yes. If I had somebody I knew with a lot of money, <laughs> I'd like well, to look do at it. Me, I mean, <laughs> anyway, I'd stick <laughs> microphones through them, and that'd be no good to me. <laughs> Yes, I would. It would be nice to have a shop or something like that. Because you, you work as a knitwear designer yes, all the time and you I, do this. This is just done in the evenings and weekends yeah, the when I get the opportunity and when I get the commission. Okay, let's have a, okay. let's have a look at another couple of commissions okay. here. Have, let's have the other two girls on, please, could we? <laughs> This, 
is one of the cunning stunts, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the girl on the right, as we look at it, is the girl you've seen before, and the girl on the left, <laughs> a very blousy young female, if I may say so. I may not say so, she's getting a little bit upset. <laughs> right. The jumper on the right was in fact commissioned for the girl on the left. Who is Mike Reed? Round of applause. Oh. I'm just going to sit there, right? Oh, you And if we can, and this is Ruth, and this is Mike, and this is Phil, and this is Jillian. <laughs> these are Mike's knees. Let's have a close up of Mike's knees. Come on, where's it? Give us a come. Right in close. Right. Can we get right in close on Mike's knees? Closer. <laughs> Higher. Oh my God. Stretching my sister. Stretch. Stretching. Stretch. 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 And this is the picture, can we now be more, this is the picture of the Guinness Book of Hits singles which Mike Reed contributes to. And would you like to give us a wee, I won't mm. say 12 because the shape of my face suggests what I Ten might nine. turn out to be. 12, yeah, have a little 12 darling. Right. And that's Mike Reed on the back with Tim mm. Rice. Yes, I feel on the pullover, I think Tim needs a bit more hair. He complained about that, that it actually makes him look a little more bald. I mean, in real life, it took me a said, long time to knit. Well, he, he saw the pull over. He said, Look, <laughs> basically, I, I, I think it's terribly unfair because. Uh, <laughs> uh, Maybe I, it's Tim Rayson personally. So he said, I, I have a, 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 an awful lot more hair than that, and I, I think it's desperately unfair. <laughs> so he, he'll never let me show the back of it anyway. So have a good look at it. Well, uh, uh, actually, I understand that your next commission is to knit Tim Ray some more hair. <laughs> I thought it was to knit your next LP. <laughs> well, first of all, I, you could knit me some songs. Perhaps you could knit That's Phil some right. Perhaps somebody, uh, before you go on, could knit me a pair of trousers. <laughs> yeah, we fetch my read a pair of trousers. I think the, uh, the leg joke has gone far enough. Yes, I think so. Do you, you are aware of fashion. Do you commission things for the band when you are the off the peg chap, are you? Yeah. You are. Oh, great, Phil, you really are. I want a jumper. Ah, oh, excuse me, you'd like a jumper. Would yes. I want to have... Should we go into a Can you sit with Phil right. and talk about your jumper? Um, Just carry on. Phil would like a jumper, so with a stuffed horse, as if it was jumping through you. <laughs> you know, it's, it's legs at the front and legs at the it's back, funny. as if it was diving through you. Very good, it's funny you should mention that, actually, because... Um, yeah. Ruth is very good at three-dimensional knitting, <laughs> and uh, she has in fact thought along something which um, she has in fact knitted for the person who is not yet the next king or queen, <laughs> but is on the way, so to speak, and this is being sent down to him or her or it, whatever it is at the moment. <laughs> and you put all that together out of spare parts, is that right? All bits and pieces of... Yeah, it's a baby's bonnet, actually. The, the trifle often takes it. <laughs> this is for Charlie and Di's baby, for them. you haven't gathered yeah, the... Um, slow, aren't they? Very slow, yeah. <laughs> and this is put together from all odds and sods, is that right? Yeah. <laughs> so is a rather unfortunate word to use, wasn't it, to refer to the future king or queen? Um, <laughs> there goes my key, I suppose. No chance of an MBE or anything. <laughs> but, um... I think we should thank Ruth Herring for coming along this evening. I'll get the sign. Thank you. Now, Mr. Reed, complete with hey. trousers again. Yeah, I said put them on sneakily when you went looking. 